At Splash Damage, we believe that gamers should be able to enter a multiplayer game confident that it's well-balanced, compatible with their hardware, and as bug-free as possible. To achieve this, we're launching the Dirty Bomb Closed Alpha today, backed up by a cool new technology we call Echo. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Dave Johnston, and I used to design levels. Like dust! After creating a new map, I would often connect to servers myself to see exactly how players were playing it. But there's only so much I could learn from observation alone. What I really wanted was the big picture, so we created Echo. Echo tracks every game session in enormous detail, allowing us to see each match as a detailed 2D replay. Echo then combines all of this data into a global snapshot of the game, allowing us to easily identify problems. For the first time in our studio's history, we're able to use detailed gameplay data to help us tweak Dirty Bomb throughout the life of the game. Here's a couple of real-world examples. Waterloo features multiple military objectives that must be completed in sequence. After blocking out the level and spending a few weeks playtesting it, we used Echo to analyse the data. It was immediately obvious that a disproportionate number of deaths were occurring in the last third of the map, making the final push a bit of a meat grind. Armed with this knowledge, the team started to modify spawn points and shift obstacles. Sure enough, death started to spread more evenly across the level as the flow from one objective to the next became more fluid. In another case, several of the community VIPs in the Dirty Bomb Closed Alpha had concerns about how often they needed to reload certain weapons, finding it hard to kill multiple enemies or enter a kill streak without disrupting their flow. We used Echo to drill down on these weapons across all past play sessions to find that the average reload to kill ratio was about 1.25 to 1. In this situation, the raw stats reflected the unease in the forum and complemented the anecdotal evidence. The team were then able to start reducing it by increasing the clip sizes of the weapons. Dirty Bomb also makes extensive use of the power offered by Echo's analytics tools for balancing the various combat classes in the game, targeted frame rate optimization, and network usage. We've always believed that team-based multiplayer is more thrilling than single player. And thanks to Echo, hardcore shooter fans can be confident that Dirty Bomb will provide a balanced playing field and a fair contest. To take full advantage of Echo's capabilities, we're letting you play Dirty Bomb right now at the Alpha stage. Every single multiplayer match during the closed Alpha helps shape what Dirty Bomb becomes. All you have to do is get playing.